Yeah, so my name is Billy Ernest. I'm our public programs manager here at ECHO, and a portion of my responsibilities are creating educational programming and events here at the museum, and also driving our team to creating new activities for guests to engage with here in our engineer at space and also out on the floor. So what exhibit are we in right now? Right now we are in Pigeon Comes to Burlington, which is an exhibit that comes to us from the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh, uh, and it explores the whimsical world of Mo Willems and all of his zany characters in his books. Awesome. Did you, by chance, happen to grow up with the Mo Willems? I did not, unfortunately. Um, I didn't learn about Mo Willems until we were actually getting this exhibit in, and then I read through all the books and fell in love. Um, I really love the illustration style. I love the writing style. I love all the themes that Mo Willems is trying to engage with in his writing, um, and kids love them. So it's great seeing the joy on their faces as they begin reading the books and they start to think about what's in there. Uh, so we took on the Pigeon exhibit because we know that children love Pigeon and love the Mo Willems books, and we wanted to be able to engage with our community with something that was exciting. Um, we're also really big advocates in combining literacy and STEM education, and we think that those go hand in hand with each other. So what a perfect combination to bring in a exhibit that's around literacy inside of our science museum. Right, no, not at all. There's so much going on in this exhibit, and that's one of the things that really attracted us about it, too, is all the hands-on portions that are inside of it. We have everything from a fashion walkway for the naked mole rat. Behind me, we've got some uh, animation panels for some of the pigeon pieces. Um, we have a space where you can fling hot dogs at the pigeon and the duckling. There's an area where you can learn how to draw, because Mo Willems uh, finds it really important to let kids know that if you can write your name and you can draw shapes, then you can draw because that's all drawing is, is a series of shapes. Um, so there's tons of hands-on things for guests to be able to engage with. Um, and we love seeing the folks in here all the time. What's your favorite part of the exhibit? My favorite part of the exhibit? I honestly really love the cookie part. <laughs> um, so we have this exhibit where um, you have these two cords and you have to pull on them to raise a planchette with a cookie and you're trying to maneuver it through this maze so that you can give either the duckling or the pigeon a cookie and then you get this little like drop down celebration effect after you get it on in there. Um, I, I'm always a fan of games of skill so when I see that I always enjoy looking at it um, but I also really love the amount of art that's combined in here and seeing the kids draw and learning how to draw. Um, and it just brings a smile to my face every time that I'm down here. It's really cool. Like, I've um, I've I've grew up with like the pigeon books. Like, um, I've my favorite is like the pigeon drives the bus. M my mom always read it to me, and then and then I like how they have like the draw thing, drawing. And the, um, and it's cool to see like you're like you're the driver, and then on the bus. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How's it feel to uh, to read these books and then see it in a whole museum? It feels so cool, and then you wa walk into this artwork like how he did it, and. And yeah, it's just like really cool seeing it. Awesome. We're excited to have Pigeon Comes to Burlington here until January 5th. We hope that folks will be able to come on down and enjoy the space. And we also hope that folks will join us for our Elephant and Piggy Day that we'll be having in October, I believe. But stay tuned, watch the website for that, um, where we'll actually have Elephant Gerald and Piggy here to meet and greet the guests and say hi. Um, and we hope that we'll see folks around.